It's October, Halloween's just around the corner, and I've got ghosts on the mind. So today we're gonna stop and rank all three Ghostbusters movies from the worst to the best. Before we get started, be sure to share your ranking down below in the comment section. This should be pretty interesting because the internet seems to love the original, hate the remake, so this should make for a nice, lively discussion. Just so you know, some of my placements might just be a little bit unpopular. Also, if you're someone like me that likes to talk about movies a little bit too much, you're probably in the right place, so consider clicking that subscribe button. With that said, let's get started. Coming in in last place is gonna be Ghostbusters 2. I know that the remake is the one that gets the most venom spewed at it, but for me, this movie has always felt like a totally lifeless retread. Right from the beginning of the movie, it kind of loses all credibility when it suggests that just five years after the original film, the Ghostbusters are considered fraud and relegated to performing at birthday parties for money, and the kids don't care who they are. From there, the movie is a beat-for-beat beat repeat of the template of the original film. If you haven't seen the Honest trailer for this one, go check it out after this video. They spell out that template perfectly. And I could forgive all of that if the movie was funny or had some spark of life, but it doesn't. The dry wit of the original film is replaced with a bunch of broad comedy and lame jokes and at times it's just painfully unfunny. It's hard to not get the impression that this movie exists purely so that everyone could get a paycheck. At the end of the day, this one for me is the least rewatchable and the most unnecessary of the franchise. Our runner up is Ghostbusters 2016. Before this movie had even come out, it was already one of the most hated movies of 2016. The trailers were dreadful, the premise seemed unnecessary at best, and the comments from the director and the producers didn't do anything to help. But as for the movie itself, I think it's fine. The movie works well enough for me, essentially because of the likability of the cast and the updated special effects. I enjoy the on-screen chemistry between Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy. I think they have a fun dynamic. And Chris Hemsworth is really funny to me. Even in crappy movies, he makes me laugh this film being no exception. Likewise, the updated special effects provide some new opportunities that weren't possible back in the 80s. Listen, I'm not saying that this is a great movie or a worthy remake. The movie has serious story issues and it devolves into dance sequences in base level humor way too often. But I think it's a much more watchable and memorable, maybe for the wrong reasons, film than Ghostbusters 2. I also might be a little bit biased because my review for Ghostbusters 2016 was the first video I did for Sean Chandler Talks About. But coming in in first place by about 10 miles is the original Ghostbusters. This genre blender is known as a classic for good reason. It's the perfect mix of great characters, a fun world, family-friendly scares, and a razor-sharp wit. Right out of the gate, the movie establishes all of its core characters who are unique and interesting in their own right, but the real magic here is the fact that they have amazing chemistry and they balance each other out. A lot of this coming down to the Peter Venkman character as played by Bill Murray in his comedic prime. The film is packed with scenes of extensive exposition, which in most movies would kill them, but they very wisely balance the quirky nerdiness of Ray and Egon with the dry wit of Peter Venkman, and it makes these scenes really funny and engaging. From Slimer to Rick Moranis to the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, every character, plot device, sequence, they're all memorable and part of the popular culture. This is easily one of my favorite movies and hopefully someday we will get a worthy sequel. If you like this video, be sure to check out one of these playlists to the left. The one on top is of my best horror franchise rankings and the one on bottom is of my top 80s movie franchise rankings. Thank you guys so much for watching and keep talking movies too much.